There you go. Hello and welcome to Longwood for this third round uh, Cornabonia clash between Trim and Longwood. Um, looks like we're just about to throw in, so we'll uh, wait. Gale, name the two teams. Noel Denty looking for an umpire on the trim side. Been stonewalled by the supporters at the minute. Yeah, you're okay, you're on, you're right. Okay, we're just about ready to go. And we're off. Right on time. Sean Fitz wins a tap down from Rodbrook. Takes a hop inside towards Owen O'Connor. Owen beats his man. Hands it off to Shawnee. Back to Owen. Bad pass at his feet. Owen goes along the ground. Comes back out. To JC and JC puts it over the bar. Good score. Well Good start from Trim, CJ. CJ yeah. Murta here with me. Thanks, Maddy. First time working together and we'll see how we operate. Um, first impressions are that I um, um, could be wrong, but Longwood looked a little bit dishevelled. Um, but uh, Trim uh, looked very lively as they have the last couple of weeks. Sean Colo on board. Into the first forward line. Barry Keenan, halfway to down. Comes out to Thomas Colo. Thomas, this is the right. That's it, that's the left and right. The only thing I'd say in the is that uh, the miss we got from Longwood is, is, is uh, probably down. We got Tuck Green as well, Nellis. Uh, yeah, he's down as 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we try and figure out who everybody is, but we don't do that easy. Look at out from Peter Brennan. Rob Brook, Rob dropped this one. Second pick out is after dropping. Is, we're after having a shower just before the game, so conditions are wet. Sean Fitz again, gives it out to Dara Lynch. Dara takes a hop in the solo, gets the head up, puts inside. Another solo into Joycey. Dara Lynch just too slow from trim. Rob Brook gets the hand in, but a bit high, free given. You can use your finger on it. Long with retain possession. Back to three. The left half back. A bit of space now for 25 to run into and a foot pass forward. Oh, good hand in from Darrell Feeling. Good defender. Kieran Rock runs over for the loose ball. Picked up by Long with Man. Clean downs. Bit aggressive in the tackle. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. No, it's how you end up. Going in the middle. Going through the trim team. Uh, we're waiting for this free to be taken. Uh, Peter Brennan's in goals. Uh, Daryl Phelan, Luke Moore, and Declan Dowling with the full back line. Team Downs, Kieran O'Rourke, and Kevin Malley. Rob Burke and Sean Fitz yeah. in midfield. Paul Munley, Kieran Joyce, and Daryl Lynch at the half forward line. And Brian Dowling, Aaron Lynch, and Owen O'Connor in the full forward line. That's what happened with Peter's hands. There's a bit of a risk there. Punching himself, he's off the loop to Fitzy. Fitzy plays with the foot, he's right behind Daki Dowling. Daki, Daryl there. Fitzy goes short to Kevin Munley. Munley is inside to Daki, again it's behind Daki. Daki plays it on the ground, forward to Jaycee. Daki taps it on again, it's a bit sloppy from Trim there. Long will come away with it. Retain possession, putting the man under a bit of pressure there, Owen O'Connor. Just shouting how long. Oh, man in space, good pass. Good put inside as well, that's why I'm there, I think. A good ball inside, man in front, Darrell, in the middle of the back, maybe. He gets a good hand in then, Robert finds in it. Gives it out to Darrell Lynch, Darrell's loads of time now. Rocky goes with the foot into Aaron. Aaron can't control it, skids off the greasy service. Yeah, and Aaron's a bit high down with the tackle. A uh, lot of fumbling with the ball, Maddy. They, they're in before the match and just now, and the ground very hard has left for very slippery conditions. Um, so you definitely would want to win your possession first and then do your business. Gloves are available in, in Ted Murphy's? As always. <laughs> Long word again, Dirk. Playing the style for a couple of years, retaining possession, quite slow in the build up. Obviously, work for them. Trim, not as much pressure on the ball as they had in the, the first two rounds. Half blocking that, so that's going to be a long with ball. Yeah, trim. Thought that was a long with ball. 
Facing in front of Joyce there. Oh, he's on O'Connor, he's looking for no, he's hitting straight to centre back. Joyce flicks Tony. Oh, he could have given that first time to Aaron. Good pace from Owen. And there's a goal on here. Owen takes the point. Good score. Two points to trim. No score to Longwood. Two for Owen O'Connor, is it? Uh, no, Joyce got the first one. Joyce. Just over five minutes gone. Kevin Maguire and kick out for Longwood. Goes short. Works to the left half back. Out the ball. Back across the middle to Ryan Moore. It's the head Thank you, Chief. No. Good pass forward. And Peter Brandon, of course, is in and goal to set up the fire. Owen O'Connor was on in front again. Tracy goes cross field. Probably you won't pick it up on camera there, but uh, the full forward line are making the runs, but we're just a bit slow at giving it in. You took the words out of me, mate. I'd say one, one bounce too many or one yeah. if you look if it, um, Aaron Lynch, Brian Dowling, and um, Oni are, are making a move very early, and really just one pop should be in. Quick ball is the secret of all tonight. Jersey on him. Long will come out with the ball. Oh, fumble by Decky. Aaron Ennis gets in the tackle. Yeah, Brooks in trouble there. James Murray is going to come straight in. Sean Fitz standing over the ball. He's trying to take his time for his subs to come in. Yeah. Gonna to get touched straight away. Yeah, sloppy enough from Longwood there. And the back to James. James a chance to carry this now. Into Moners. Moners loads of time. Puts in Joycey. Joycey needs a runner off the shoulder. Kevin Alley is a bit static. Into Lynchy. Lynchy is direct. Good ball into Bino. Good run by Owen O'Connor if he can give it. Just good defending actually by 12. Uh, keeper gets his hand to it. Back out to Ryan Moore. This is where we should be getting a bit more pressure on the ball, I think. 17 fumbles it. No pressure on the ball again. Bean off comes forward. Sidesteps by Ryan Moore. Gives a good ball forward. Luke. James Murray. James Murray, yeah. Gets in a good tackle. Picks up the loose ball then. Goes across to Kieran Orr. Again, the foot pass is on. Foot pass back to Rocky. Now he gets the head up, gives it in to Lynchy. Drops it. No, play on. Across to 24. Ireland puts him under a little pressure. Illegal again. 
Because your whole team could not even do that room quick, yeah. quickly. Half back, get the ball, they should deliver the ball. Three, four, four lane. Or out in front of the lane. Much quicker than the man. Then the longwood backs can match. So one lock up and bang in. Two two three, 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 three. I would retain possession again. Kicks it into Monos. Rather than block down, Owen O'Connor is going to use his pace. Tries to chip it up. Will he be able to keep it in? He will. Now he's got a bend. Bit of a pull of the jersey. I think Owen might have preferred if he played on there. Take this one. <laughs> Ten minutes gone. Two nil trim. Aaron Lynch from the left corner. Off the ground. No, it's not going to curl. Bino is going to compete for it. But it's going to be the right and wide. Sloppy enough start. Oh, I, I'm kind of a bit disappointed. I thought we, you know, we, we should be kind of moving on here. The, the, um, to me, Long would look very ragged at the back if the ball has moved quickly. Um, Brian Moore looks a lovely player in the middle of the field, and he, uh, you know, he's not a big man. They won't be kicking the ball out to him, but if he gets a loose ball, he can play it in very well. But um, we probably should be a good bit further ahead so early. Dean Downs competes for that. It's another foul to Keane. We're actually racking up the fouls here as well. He's seven red frees against Trim already. Four is out in front of Darrell this time. He turns him. Gets possession of the ball. He's going to have a shot. Good job for Darrell with over the ball. No communication between Luke and Lockie. That's the point of giving to Peter Brennan. Oh, he's going to be loose. Luke slips. Oh, he should have got the good foot in there to save it. And that's going to be 45. And a comedy of errors really opens up. A goal chance for Longwood. Yeah, I mean, Peter dropped it first and then he gave it to Luke Moore and he slipped. And then Ron Ellis came in and really should have buried it. They had made a very good save. But um, I was in nothing. Longwood could have been ahead um, totally once they were in the play. But um, they have a 50 now that Ron Moore looks to be able to finish a whole thing where he passes out. So it's a shame we don't know what he's going to do. And they're actually going to throw this up. This feature of the, the first game, I think everyone must have outside the 21. Yeah, it's just a bit disjointed, isn't yeah. it? There's no flow of cards to match. It's, it's uh, very haphazard, a lot of fun yeah. and a lot of mess around with the ball. Dara has time to put the head up. There's no bonus. A good ball. ball across to Kevin Nelly. Get it in your hand! Thank God it was first time. Now against two and two inside, he should just give it. No, carries it forward, hands it off to Sean Fitz. Fitzy gives it to Joycey. Joycey to Munners. Munners hands it across. Oh, just too high for. Who was it coming around the back there? Right. Bino. Just too high for Bino. Yeah. First nice bit of football. Though. Oh, it was a lovely move, and everybody was totally unselfish. Um, Jaycee could have scored a point, he gave it to Munners, who could have scored a point, who passed across the goals, and just it was a bit too high for Brian. Um, but it was that's the kind of football you want to see fast and running and um, tearing them apart if, um, if it's done nice and quick. Kevin Maguire would kick out again, I think that's going to go over the line. Coming up to 14 minutes gone, it's two points to trim, along with no score. James Murray with the sideline into Lynchy, controls it well off the skiddy bounce. That's good pressure from the Longwood defender. Darrell Lynch picks it up, a good run from Aaron. He's giving a throw against him there. Hard to see from here. I'd say Longwood might, um, they might be trying to get into Aaron Lynch because maybe it was the last time we played that he got the line. He 
Indeed, indeed. Uh, against yeah, Longwood yeah, in yeah. a very vital match out in Summerhill in a quarter final, I think, and Longwood went on and won the championship. But um, there might have been a word or two there to rile him up a little bit. I yeah, well, I think Aaron's probably had that for the last three years. You know, his name is, is well known around the county now. He's he's a different temperament now. And we'll come out with the ball. Ryan Moore again. Always seems to have time and possession. Not usually a sign of a good player. It's Ron Ennis. Picks on Kevin Nally. Beats Kevin Nally. Wants to beat him again. Goes across field. Come out! Decky Dowling is going to intercept that. Come on, ref! Come on, ref! a little level push for it. Decky taking a quick. The ref's blown up to have a word with that. The great thing is you can't give out to the referees, isn't it? You have to concentrate on what you're doing. Decky goes short to Miss Murray. James hands it off to Fitzy. Again, it's on to Aaron Lynch here if he gives it first time, but he carries it into Munners. Good pass. Munners drives straight. Doesn't want to shoot. Yeah, referee's playing advantage three to Munners. Uh, Munners just, I think, in two minds whether to pass or shoot there. Yeah, he's doing well, Munners, yep. when he gets it. And, and Sean Fitzgerald, they're, they're running nice and quick. Um, I still would think from the half back line midfield, we should just pump that little ball in. Just a nice punt in front of those lads, and they will do the damage. We've dropped a few balls in the keeper's hands, too, which is not that great. Up to 16 minutes gone, Aaron Lynch with the free. Missed that as well, yeah. He missed that as well. It's a water break now. Water break after 16 minutes. Uh, and I suppose one word to describe the first 16 minutes would be sloppy. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a nice calm word for it no more. It would be uh, fairly average stuff, I think. Um, I think if we got going, you could wipe through right these. Guys. They, they don't even. I thought Trumbara showed a little bit more. Uh, ability than Longwood, and still it's only two points in our score, so it's um, yeah, it's not so good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're that sloppier than we were the night against Tomorrow for sure. Um, yeah. Without he's dropping, he's already talking about high work rate and high intensity, and that has been. Has been uh, not a whole lot of talk about it. It's not two scores. Yeah. Uh, three in the keeper's hands, one bad three wide. Uh, uh, a small yeah. uh, missed opportunity for a goal. Just to play a ball from. Yeah, and Kevin has kept him long. Just had a quick word and said to get out there. Uh, first, Trim and. And there are actually the only two teams in this group two wins from the first two games. Longwood lost the first two to Myla and Bechtiv. Trim, of course, wins against Trumbara and great game last week against Oldcastle. It was a great game of football, Myla. It was really um, intense. It was yeah. near championship standard and the hit it was great. It was, it's amazing how it can turn around in a week. Though. Yeah. I, I, I presume the conditions are just a little yeah. bit more difficult. But, um, huh? Two very different games. And again, with you know the draw at the weekend and eight weeks probably to the, ch to the championship again, you think that's when another step up happens. So play resumes, just over 16 minutes gone. And along with Ryan Moore is in behind. Sean Fitz uses the wrong hand, but it's a good hand on the ball. Oh, he put that thing up again. Good work back by Sean Fitzgerald, even though as you said it's dangerous tackling with that hand, but um, he knocked the ball out of his hand and turned over possession, which is a feature of what Trim have done the last few weeks. Move forward for kicking the ball away. Here in Oric, again, Owen O'Connor's out in front and, and Rorke taps on his toe, goes right to Kevin Alley. Kevin goes back to Rorke, he's Joycey inside him, he comes wide again to Munners, his runners in the middle. Oh, he gives it to Roar to Joycey. Joycey into Aaron Lynch. Aaron wants to take his man on. Beats two men. Gives it into Joycey. Goes for the return. Gets the return. And a great finish. And, uh, it's a simple game, I suppose. Well, like yeah, but even though we scored that, what it was a much break. easier ball to James yes. Murray in the middle, which has to give it. Like, you won't get away with that every time, but look at that. I'm only been over critically. He took it really well with his left foot, and that's really where it should have been. From 
five minutes in. Kevin McGuire, I think he missed kick that one, but it's, it's good. Longwood man has won it. Joycey getting tackled in on Ryan Moore. Yeah, a little overzealous, I would have thought. Again, he's looking for something short or backwards. Goes sidewards. Management looking to put pressure on the long way kick out. Tug off the ball there. Really given to the long way. Yeah, they go back with it. There's a long way back with it. They're going north and the, the playmaker. The beats Pino with a little sidestep. Trying to beat Mono with now as well. He wants to go back on his left. Yeah. Oh, his red oh my yeah. god! Referee! Yeah, sure. <laughs> that was as good a turnover as he'll ever see. He's okay, to be honest. is good, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's very good. He's not bad either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he, uh, uh, I think he had it, yeah. Not sure. Here it comes out. A little uncertain on this. A couple of high bars now he's after. Kind of dropping in front of him. Out wide to Darrell Lynch. Luke Moore makes a good one off the shoulder. Dara beats his man. Gives it across to Shawnee. To Shawnee Kitts, can he get the head up? Okay. And he wants to take a tap on it. Into Joycey. Now Joycey can play it. Well, Gives it back to Fitzy, yeah. Fitzy wants to give the hand in to Munners. Munners. Yeah, I mean, he was more decisive this time, but a poor strike. And that's out to the right and wide. Good link in there with Sean for Paul. Yeah. Um, you know, they seem to have something going. They're both pacey. That was probably worth a shot, but um, just didn't get a foot around it. Kevin McGuire, another kick out. Yeah, Tremor all pushed up now on this kick out. Goes over towards Dara Lynch. Dara gets a hand on it to James Murray. James gets the head up. Plays it outside. Oh, beautiful ball to Owen O'Connor. Owen doesn't take the mark, takes the man on. That's a free. First quick ball that we did, yeah. body. It was a beautiful ball to Tony. It's very simple. It's very well, Owen, isn't it? He could have taken the mark, but chose mm -hmm. to play on. Tracy Owen likes the yeah. one on one situations. He was good for the first round. Yeah. Another free to Aaron and a little bit further out than the one he missed. But uh, again, well within his wheelhouse. The rain has uh, stopped here for a while. Cheryl getting a little bit of attention from Liam Chute. Here's Aaron, steps up, makes a nice angle for himself, and taps it over the bar. So 1 3 for Trim. So Connor Quigley is going to be coming on. Oh, poor kick out, Kieran O'Rourke comes onto it, gives it to Owen O'Connor. Owen. Taps it over the bar. So 21 minutes gone. Trim 1 4. Longwood yet to score. Um, Sean Sherb is still on the pitch. Looks like Connor Quigley could be coming on for Sean Fitzgerald. He looks to have trouble breathing or something. He's yeah. in his chest a wee bit. And miss kick for Kevin Maguire, but goes straight into the arms of a Longwood man. Invites the contact. And down, getting the tackle in. Onto the whole hands there. Longwood man wants the advantage. The advantage to us that he didn't give it advantage. His mum was true, wasn't he? to Decky Dowling. Decky gets the head up. 
Takes his man on. Munners is free now. Again, Munners, time to get the head up and give it. Oh, he takes the tap. Plays the side foot to Bino. First real chance for Bino to get his hands on the ball. Lays it off to Jaycee. Across to Owen O'Connor. Owen, a good run by Fitzy off the shoulder. Fitzy going to have a go off the left. Lovely strike if it goes over. Yeah, lovely score. That's the best score we had, I yeah. Lovely. Five to trim now, no score to Longwood. Connor yeah. Quigley putting the top back on him now after. It's amazing for the point will do for your energy. Isn't it? I don't mean a point either, I mean a point. Kevin McGuire, a better strike this time. Know, Kevin Alley didn't call for it, would have caught it cleanly. Rorke hands it forward, not a great one, but goes to Bino. To Joycey, Joycey, that's gone over Aaron's head, that's going to go wide, skid off the surface and wide. Kieran enjoys the thinking very well actually, he's, um, you know, they're giving him the ball and he's spraying it around nicely and he's a fair hard man. So yeah, he's doing he made a big difference last week as well. Didn't he come on Huge, yeah. Day. I had an old castle man with me uh, that night and he, he said you took on somebody to do all the hitting. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Mike Cullen is actually going to be the man that comes in for yeah. Sean Fitzgerald. Uh, last hour was the, was the point. Who's he gone midfield? Or Munners? Paul Munners gone midfield. Kevin Alley is okay. Mikey's gone a wing forward. Interesting, Mikey had a wing forward. As Mikey loves to carry the ball, very direct. Munners picks up the, the loose break into Joycey. Joycey gives it in towards Lynchy. Oh, Lynchy made a great run there. Handed it off to Rorky. Rorky out to Mikey. Mikey thought about pulling on it. Encouraged by Sean Gilson to do so. Rorky. Recycles it. Oh, bad pass again. Good interception by Ryan Moore. 24 again, gives it one forward, Becky Dowling. Oh, he's out in front, but he misjudged it. Long ball in, it's 2 on 2. Luke Moore gets caught under it a little bit. Wins the loose ball, hands it off to Darryl Phelan. Darryl. Darryl loves to drive it. That's a good ball in. Aaron Lynch wasn't fouled, it's a free out. No, nothing given. An advantage. Yeah, I thought it was a good ball in by Darryl, just the, the full back did well. He did muscle well, Aaron yeah, out of the way. Yeah, he did. And I, I'm not sure if he fouled him either. I think no, I don't think so. A bit of slippage going on, and then Mikey definitely fouled. Then that high ball into the full back line caused him a bit of trouble. Uh, we might have worked on that after the. The final goal the other night. <laughs> Don't mention the war. <laughs> oh, 1 5 to Trim. No score to Longwood. Uh, 25 and a half minutes gone. Uh, another feature of the Trim teams in the last few years. Bomber Lee's team. Bomber Lee's team. Bomber Lee's team. Twenty-five or fifty-six different players. The core is being stained there, but Flint players getting the run. Everybody getting a chance to sort of work. It's a better even now, Shawnee. Mikey's in good. Mikey's in a bit of a tangle one of our lads earlier on. Yeah, Peter Brennan. So there's there's great. Lankill is not great. No, you're not weakening the team in any way by chance. Hamilton before the game as well. James Cullen was tagged out tonight. I think that's the first time he's been tagged out this year as well. Back after injury. Ryan Moore with three goes short. Munners gets a good hand in. Mikey, good hand on the back. Oh, he did well to release that out of the tackle. 26 goes into the tackle. Come on, ref, ref, yeah, that was a bit soft, I'd say. Yeah. 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 And the man carries into trouble. Mikey picks up the loose ball. Oh, can't quite get his hands on it though. Becky Dowling, a nice little chip up. Kicks it in towards Lynchy. Longwood man slips. Yeah. Aaron, that's adventurous. Can Bino keep it in? He can, yeah. Out towards Owen O'Connor. Defender goes well. Free out. He's always going to get a free for that. And Sean gets him not going to have a decision. 
the, uh, the ball the microphone and I'm walking down well. I want to come out with it. Watch out, Murray slips. And the man strides out with it. And they slip and slip with it. Don't commit yourself, Fela. No. Two hand in. He's expecting to loop around the old length to move. Doesn't come off. Charlie Lynch comes in, wins it into JC. Now the ball is in. He's on. No. Owen O'Connor is on. It's a Mikey. Mikey loves the space. Mikey will carry. Keep going, Mikey. And put it over the bar. No, he hands it in towards Bino. Bino might go for goal here. No, he goes to take the Unselfish by Mikey, he nearly could have tipped it over himself. Oh, Bar Brian was going for a goal, but it was unselfish. Yeah, but I would have expected Mikey to tap it over, alright. I don't to see turn. too much up in the forwards to track this to you, Mud. I mean, no score with what's gone. It's nearly half time. Nearly half time. 28 and, and a half minutes gone. I think the best forward in the championship they will have would be Ryan Moore, but he's out too far. Yeah. Kevin Alley bends down on us. He's given a tug, I think Munners takes it short to Lynchy. Lynchy, oh. nice little chip, no. Simple Aaron is the cry from the sideline. Oh, did not go there? No. James Murray. Oh. Joycey gives it in to Lynchy. Lynchy can hand it off to Aaron or to James Murray. Joycey, oh, big hole for Joycey to drive into. Oh, no, struck it all wrong. trying to direct the troops there pressure on the kick out again so we've lost our two starting midfielders uh, Sean Fitzgerald and Rob Burke both to injury James Murray and Paul Munley in midfield now at the minute Kevin Maguire kick out he's going to go short again but that left side's his favourite one Tracy competes for it along with man wins it I think that could be Niall Mulvey you heard of him yeah, he's on the list anyway. He's down yeah. to six. I think that covers him. He's a decent hurler as well. He's a good side team. I think that covers him. Stolen a few yards anyway. Good pass. To Ryan Moore. They're all looking for Ryan to take the ball off him. Yeah, that's where they're getting the trouble. The pass to half the line. There's no real option. James Murray gets the head up, gives it to Mikey. Mikey Joyce is in an acre space in front of him. Mikey, oh, good ball in. Maybe a bit wide. Yeah. Owen O'Connor tried to keep it in, but he couldn't. But again, two on two inside, and right idea for Mikey to kick. Yeah, it just drifted a bit. I, I think put a little bit uh, less pace to the ball because a lot of them are drifting out over the end line and the sideline. Just a little tap would do the trick. No, it's going to put his own man under pressure. Good catch by Joycey and Bino's in. Good kick pass. Bino can take his man on. But he decides to take his point. Good score, Bino. Yeah. Joycey did very well again with the kick out. Didn't yeah. he? A great feeling. He's, he's playing a grand game. 1 7 to nothing. Yeah, we're 31 minutes time. gone. Yeah. He could blow it here. Uh, might. I'd say he might. No real injuries. Uh, they didn't really get stopped for attention. The two trim guys that went off injured went off. Mark called in the middle of the field. Oh, no, off the side of the boot. Keen Downs gets a good hand on it. James Murray into Joycey. Oh, he pulled it up for half time. So, half time here in Longwood. 1 7 to trim. No score to Longwood. Um, a better second, uh, second period there. CJ. Well, when you consider we only scored two points in the first 15 and we've scored 1 5 in the last 15, but look at the right has been on the wall. Um, we're a far superior team. Um, it's funny, it might be easier to play into the non scoring goals because the, the hill drifted the ball away a little bit over the sidelines. But if you don't go over the sidelines, it's easy. I think if they just pop that ball a little bit earlier, like mix it nicely, run sometimes and pop it the next time, you get Long with the sixes and sevens to be fair. I think if uh, Long would get a couple of scores from this, so it doesn't seem to be too many scores. Too critical. And third man, please on camera, Rory Dowling. Rory, any expert comments? Yeah. 
I think the only comment really is that the, the, the surprise, yeah. looking at the game, the surprise isn't that Longwood have no score, the surprise is Trim only have 1-7, I think, because they've been totally dominant right throughout, as CJ said on commentary there. Longwood in the forwards seemed very, very light, you know, any breaking ball, the Trim, the trim lads are picking it up, you know, they had, the, they had a goal chance early on, you know, it maybe should have been put away, but Peter got a foot out and managed to, to, to save it, but other than that, they've had a couple of, a couple of tricky enough frees from Ryan Moore there that, um, you know, but... It's very much they're living on scraps. But, uh, yeah, look, good stuff from Trim though. They're, they're, they've set the game. It was a bit scrappy the first couple of minutes. Probably everybody just adapting to, to the greasy conditions. And um, but since they got to the grips with that, I think they've, they've pulled on quite comfortably. I think we'll take a little break there, guys, and, and we'll be back for the second half. Thank you. Let's finish it up.